everybody. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Before we dive in, just wanna give a quick shout out to our friends at Gather Content for supporting this community. That's what makes it free for all of us to hang out, enjoy, learn, connect, etc. cetera. Um, Gather Content is a very cool content operations tool. So if you're producing a lot of content, if there are, maybe you're producing different types of content, blog posts, emails, social copy, et cetera. Uh, maybe there's a couple different people that have uh, roles in their content production, writers, editors, maybe someone else approving things. Um, it's really good to bring all those people into one place to use the same tool and the same process. Keeps everybody on the same page, makes everything run a lot smoother. You can build all your own workflows within Gather Content. You can create your own templates. You do all your writing inside of Gather Content as well. There's a uh, commenting feature and link sharing just like there is in Google Docs, but then you can cut down on the email, the Slack, the spreadsheets you might be using for the planning and the passing things back and forth. So I was very impressed and uh, would encourage folks to check it out. If you do want to try it, you can use the code SUPERPATH when you check out. That'll give you a $299 credit towards any of their plans. Um, I will get out of the way. Thanks so much again to the folks that gather content and go check out the tool. I think you'll really like it. So all of this has been customized ahead of time. So for any content created, any course record content created, it all sort of lives in this same format. And I'm curious about the three tabs. Like it sort of makes sense as I'm sort of starting to create the content that I'm going through these three tabs. I get my overview, you know, now I have a structured way to actually start writing. And then what does it become later? Like, how does it, what does it look like when it all kind of comes together as a piece of content ready to be published? Yeah. So first of all, yeah. So kind of to answer your first part of that question, it makes almost explains that almost makes sense to explain how templates work. So that's kind of where you define all of this stuff. Um, so that's in this case, it's a course record template and we can go here and we can edit that. Um, and this would be more of like an admin feature, like not everyone will be able to access this, but, um, you can come in here and you can see the, see how this is constructed. So uh, for example, I can very quickly on the front first field, I could add like mm. notes on brief, like you mentioned, and you could have like a field called notes on brief and I could have some guidelines for that. I can have a character limit, make it, I can make it repeatable, which is quite nice. So I could repeat that like five times it's quite good for things like faqs or if you've got like a gallery or something like that oh uh, gotcha um, okay have a limit so that's kind of how you build out your templates and it would often be one of the first things i would recommend people to do so like once you've created your account and then maybe you're thinking of like well i'm going to start like creating a project for like a series of articles i'm going to create first thing definitely create that article template um and define what fields need to be in there. You can have like tabs for metadata is really common, tabs for SEO data in there that'll help with that stuff. Um, any sort of supporting content, you can have a tab for the author if you wanted to do that, which makes it really easy. You know, you're producing articles, you want to get the author content at the same time um, and have requirements for those. So then that would be the kind of first step, set up your templates and then second step, set up your workflow. So agreeing what process it needs to go through to get approved, um, to get produced um, and then that kind of end point, like you're saying, how this gets constructed really depends on where you're publishing to. So um, that would all be done through integrations, really. So say, for example, if you're integrating with CMS and you want to publish to like WordPress, you would essentially map all these fields to fields in WordPress through the integration and then push them over as and when you create new content. Oh, um, that's interesting. So then you can push it live directly from here and know um, that it's all going to look and feel like it's supposed to look and feel. Yeah, well, usually it's actually done from the WordPress side. So you'd go into WordPress and you pull stuff over more regularly. You can you can kind of do both. You can connect the workflow statuses to um, actions, but most of the time people. So for example, you could say like when it gets marked to this, push it over, publish it. Um, but more often it is yeah done from like the CMS end or the word or the publishing end. Cool. So there you go. Just want to give one more quick shout out to our friends at Gather Content. Just as a reminder, if you do want to try it out yourself, gathercontent.com, use the code superpath at checkout, you'll get a $299 credit. Thanks so much, everybody, and take care.